Sarah Dominic. I think I'm going to put a sukuri match. He wasn't even interested in farming, but it only started with the summit he attended. Um, I wasn't always a farmer. Um, my interest, in fact, was actually going into accounting. Um, so I haven't, I was, I have had no interest in farming. But um, ever since I attended, uh, since attending the ZFU Young Farmers um, Summit, which was held last year in 2014, um, that's where I got my inspiration. Um, I was to to get into farming. What really was interesting at the summit, I got to see other young farmers and what they were doing. The likes of Francis, um, Munya, uh, Bright, uh, Ramiso, and um, Kundai. I got to see what they were doing at their homes. Um, one person in particular who really inspired me was Munya because he was doing it at his parents' backyard. And that's when I also really got to see that I also have a backyard. Why don't I also try this out? So from there, it um, began to go. So, where can you start? No problem. Uh, you can start with this land, this piece of land, Panupamba. Okay, let's just go for it. Ah, I need some money to start. No problem. Man, it's not a problem, my dear. As long as we uh, are now interested in that, do pandaka vana gumpo, do pa a calculator the amount he wanted, and then do pandam pa at almost two hundred to three hundred dollars. It will be enough for uh, for me to start. With that money, I use that money to buy seedlings. Um, fertilizer and that was that that's basically the impulse that's needed for growing lettuce. Uh, this particular variety you know the commander which is uh, probably one of the most common ones can I a commercial uh lettuce commercially uh, mostly for its size and its shelf life. Uh, from the time of planting you know to uh, about four weeks which is 28 days uh, that's for lettuce depending on what what crop it is it ranges from uh, about 28 days which is four weeks to six weeks Selling this crop, uh, the project must develop and I need to improve my infrastructure. So I'm going to move from this and hopefully get drip irrigation. That's one of the first things that I want to do because I can't keep on watering with a bucket. If I do so, you know, it's quite the workout. So the reason why I use this cup, you can you can use any other method, but the reason why I use this cup is because lettuce is a fragile crop. So if you're going to get the bucket and just pour, it can easily dig out the crop or damage the leaves, which will affect the growth. So, but I mean, that's the thing about the summit. It really motivated and got me going into farming such that I don't really feel the heaviness of watering this whole field with the bucket. Generally when harvesting, you look to see if your lettuce head is firm and then from there we begin the harvest. So you just simply cut and then remove these leaves, the dead leaves. Some of these ones can stay because when you take them to the shops they want the leaves to be there. And then we just cut. 
and then we wash it. And then just that. Pack. All you are seeing is as a result of the summit that we that we went, which was so so inspiring to the point of action and the crop that is coming up. I'm really really proud of him and you young farmers out there. This is an example for you to also come to Dominic, link up with other young farmers, so that you can join together and as well be an inspiration to others. From this area, we've just uh, completed harvesting this area and this area has given me back my inputs uh, and quite a bit of profit. So on this other area here just remains profit. Yeah, so the project is proving to be very, very viable. It has given me a hope for the future and the focus because um, from the achievement that I've made, that I've done so far, uh, it's showing me that there is a lot that I can do. My short-term goal is that um, I started this project after the summit that we had in 2014. So my idea is that by the next summit, I should be able to give the testimony that I'm earning a minimum of thousand dollars per month and uh, my long-term goals there are quite a number I want to uh, open up my own fruit and veg distribution supermarket at least within the next five years and at the same time I would like to from there look at tackling the other markets like Mbadam Sika and seeing how we can we can create a different platform for farmers to be able to market their goods. Interesting. And as well as, what are some of the challenges that you have been facing in your farming activities? Uh, well, right now the challenges that I've been facing is the technical know-how. Since I've been coming, I came from an accounting background. So, uh, my colleagues at ZFU have been very, very helpful in that light. Uh, Munya has been very helpful. He's been helping me out with growing guides and growing tips. And uh, I've been, ZFU have been uh, inviting me to field days um, that have been hosted by other farmers. So that has helped me in my challenge to get more technical expertise. Uh, to the other young farmers that are out there, I'd like to encourage them to keep the momentum. Stay focused because when it comes to farming it's not it's not an easy thing. You have to be ready to work hard and you have to be ready to think. Because farming doesn't need you just to work hard, but it needs you to really think. How am I going to lay out my crop? How am I going to market my crop? Where am I going to market? How am I going to stage and stagger my crops so that I can have a continued production? So I'd like to encourage the youth out there that farming is a great opportunity for us to build our nation.